Unfortunately, CS2 has removed some useful console commands, thereby limiting the ability to adjust and customize game settings according to individual needs. Let's take a look at which commands are removed and what impact they had on the gameplay. The first command we need to get back is CL Clear Decals. This command allowed players to remove blood, bullet holes, and other marks from walls and surfaces. The advantage of this was that it helped improve visibility and clarity. When you're used to see the exact same picture, it's easier to notice any changes in the environment. In some cases, it can be harder to see an enemy if he is standing in front of a mark on the wall. CS2 has now added a feature that causes the blood to fade slowly over a period of 10 seconds. The idea behind this is to give players a visual cue about when an enemy has been on a given location. The second command CS2 has removed is Net Graph. This command displayed useful network and performance information such as FPS, ping, loss, and choke. A recent YouTube poll revealed that this is the most requested command to get back. Many players used NetGraph to monitor the FPS at which their computer could run CS. If they experienced lag issues, they could use the information to determine whether the problem was caused by the internet connection or the computer's hardware. The third command we need to get back is CL right hand. This command was used to switch the weapon from one hand to the other. Now it's only possible to play with the weapon in the right hand. This can, of course, be challenging for players who have exclusively played with the weapon in their left hand for several years. It's worth mentioning that in a few cases, it makes sense to switch hands to better see a specific angle, but for the most part, CL right hand is not particularly useful. The last command we need to talk about is CL Bob. This command could adjust how much the weapon was moving while running and walking. Many feel the movement on the screen is more stable when the weapon remains still. The movement of the weapon is not something that really disturbed the gameplay, unless the values are set too high causing the weapon to move excessively. These were the console commands that we found that could benefit the game if they came back in CS2.